yes, it's 1 p.m. Uh, directly, and uh, we're going to start the third presentation of sales. I see that you share a screen and you're ready, so you're welcome. Good afternoon. Today we want to introduce you the next part of our presentation where we present Avia Sales as a brand. Let's start from brand attributes that are a set of communication elements through which the consumer learns, remembers and perceives the product and brand. Brand attributes are packaging, name, logo, slogan, color, brand character from the point of view of customer contact, contact with the brand. The most important of the brand attributes is the brand name, which constantly working on the formation and development of the consumer's attitude to the product. On this slide, you may see two variants of the logo. Also, we want to put your attention to the slogan of this brand, that is, search for cheap uh, flights. As for the color, blue is our everything, so it is written on the company's website. This color is the main and the most important for this brand. It is important to know that a brand is not only visual elements that form a recognizable image, so let's pay attention to other aspects as well. As, uh, as it was discussed at the lectures, brands may be different types. Corporate brands that are used across all corporate activities, umbrella brands that are used for a group of relative products, uh, endorsed brands that present a combination of a parent brand and an individual one. Individual brands that identify a specific product and bear no mention of the parent company. According to this classification, we think that Avia Sales as a brand belong to a corporate brand because it basically identifies the company. One brand is used across all corporate activities, searching tickets, booking hotels, posting information in social networks, providing services for business. Brand architecture is a structure that reflects the connections and differences between brands in companies' portfolio. In other words, brand architecture is a system that organizes brands, products and services in such a way uh, as to ensure their full interaction with each other and with target audience. According to other sales, it has a single brand across organization, despite the fact that the uh, activity of the platform uh, divided to B2C and B2B segments, we can't consider our sales, that is B2B as individual brand and our sales uh, as and B2C as a endorsed brand. Our sales that B2B is not independent enough and considered as a descriptor. In a company's brand portfolio, different brands can play different roles. The distribution of brand roles within the portfolio is the basis for the successful formation of brand architecture and for portfolio management. Uh, it is possible to mention four different roles. Strategic brand that is expected to be a leader. Lichfin brand that holds to the entire company together. Silver bullet brand that positively influences the image of another brand. And cash cow brand that generates high profits without major investments. We think that other sales is a cash cow brand because it is a brand with an established consumer base which occupies a large market share, nearly 60%, and we told this information in other presentations. Also, other sales bring stable profits and requires minimal investment. It can be used as a source of financing for other brands of the company. In our case, it is other sales for business that is strategic because it is developing with the aim of dominating the market in the field of business trips and so on and um, obtaining high profits in the future. Next, uh, the core target market is uh, employees who are conducting the business trip very rarely and 
brands use the AIDA model uh, to determine the way they should contribute marketing messages, um, messages to their target audience at each stage of their buyer's, uh, their buyer's journey. Um, AIDA model changes from one type of target audience to another. One of the main target audience is uh, employees, um, employees who uh, have regular business trip uh, attention. Um, this is well known in the market. Company, uh, company, uh, Avia Sales attracts employees' attention by allowing employees to manage their time for business trip, uh, choose uh, accommodation, and plan um, all uh, in all. Uh, they um, there is an option of choosing comfort by our sales. Uh, there is no need to save uh, each money transaction for each way ticket uh, for accommodation. Um, interest of employees is um, that um, uh, because the other sales uh, gives an opportunity to adjust time that leads to save money. And moreover, our sales provides a business trip report function which can then be transferred to management in order to control the money spend. The next is a desire. Each employee's desire is to be full of energy, full of energy uh, after the short or long trip. A flexible filter by Avial Sales shares clients' desire. Action. Uh, employees can pay uh, for all uh, provide provide the service in IVS sales platform without leaving it. Uh, and now we uh, would like to talk about brand associations. Uh, first of all, it's uh, functional benefits. Uh, thanks to Avia Sales, the client uh, can solve several problems at once. For example, find a suitable ticket uh, from point A to point B, book a hotel, uh, buy insurance or rent a car. Uh, also, clients have an opportunity to read up-to-date information about COVID restrictions and uh, uh, the need for test uh, vaccinations. Uh, what is more, uh, other sales give an opportunity to solve for these problems uh, in one digi digital place online. Uh, since the search uh, for air tickets uh, take pl takes place uh, in the online format, uh, clients uh, may use the website or special app of other sales for getting the services. Thanks to Avia Sales uh, for Business, it's possible to create all necessary trip uh, reports for employees. Uh, and um, now about emotional benefits. Uh, it is interesting that uh, in the price buying a ticket to Avia Sales uh, are lower than in an airport ticket offices. Uh, so, in this case, the client can be satisfied and get positive emotions because uh, they will uh, save money on buying a ticket. Uh, the next thing is the ability to solve several problems uh, at once uh, in one place and quickly um, glad buyers. Uh, an aggressive approach to promotion uh, uh, through members in social networks uh, profile also applies uh, to this brand and uh, affects people mood. Uh, for some people, publications in social networks seem ridiculous. For others, uh, inappropriate uh, in any case. Um, mm, uh, and the person get uh, an emotions. Uh, short ads in YouTube that also become um, MEMS, uh, Avia Sales actively cooperate with uh, bloggers and YouTube channels to attract audience from uh, 18 to 25 years old. Uh, and now about uh, social benefits. Avia Sales for Business uh, provides a wide range of accommodation options and flexible uh, filters 
that helps reduce travel costs, provides a business trip report functions, uh, which can uh, then turn uh, transferred to management in order to control the money spent. In this case, the platform has a positive impact on employees as a part of the society. Uh, other sales enables customers to save uh, time and money, uh, which simplifies the uh, improve, simplifies and improves uh, the standard of living. Discount uh, for students can also be noted as a positive impact on society as a whole. Um, and now uh, look to another classification of brands. Uh, according to the coverage of the series, all brands can be divided into four groups, global, national, regional and local. On the one hand, other sales can't be called only national brand since uh, it has gone beyond Russian Federation and operates uh, in other CIS countries. On the other hand, uh, we cannot say that other sales is uh, also well known as Coca-Cola or McDonald's, for example, so it's not yet possible to uh, attribute it to global brand. As a result, we think that other sales occupies an intermediate position and uh, perhaps in future the company managed to become a global ticket search service, uh, then its name will become known to everyone. Uh, according to the scope uh, of application, all brands are divided into two groups, consumer and industrial. Other sales mainly operate in B2C segment, uh, since its activity is aimed to the end customer. However, the minor part of the activity is B2B services. That's why uh, we consider other sales mainly as a consumer brand uh, with a minor industrial part. Um, by orientation, brands are classified into commodity, service, uh, personal, event, event, and territorial. If we analyze air sales, uh, then uh, in this classification it belongs to service type, since the activity is aimed to providing services of finding cheap and suitable tickets. And uh, uh, finally, we want to put your attention to the rebranding of other sales. The name of MetaSearch engine is now written in Cyrillic. According uh, to the PR director, Worldstat and Google Trends data show that other sales in Russian are searched for three or four times more than more on, in, on the internet than other sales in English version. The company decided that it would be logical to switch to Russian. Uh, in addition, the background color becomes uh, brightening, uh, saturated blue, uh, compared to the blue that was before. Perhaps uh, this is now. Uh, um, perhaps this is uh, how they uh, noted that uh, had taken a stronger leadership position in Russian market. Uh, even during the pandemic. All in all, uh, we want to say that Avia Sales is a strong brand uh, that has high market potential. And that's why um, it has a leadership position. Thank you for your attention. And now we are ready to answer your questions. Uh, thank you for your presentation and we'll start with our questions. Uh, the first question, uh, why do people choose to buy tickets uh, in area sales, not on the websites of the airlines themselves? What this brand do, what this brand do to, um, to get uh, such loyalty? Okay, give us a minute. Well, uh, I guess I'll 
uh, make it possible to compare uh, to compare the offers of different airlines and their price. In addition, car rental, COVID measures, uh, insurance, and hotel can also be solved uh, with the help of uh, uh, aviasales. And that is uh, to recognize the trip uh, completely on the platform. So this is a basket of uh, products, services, for travel. Mm, I get it. Thank you. And uh, the second question, uh, you talked about uh, AIDA model, but I don't understand. Uh, you said about employee AIDA model and uh, what about customers? How uh, AIDA model uh, uh, works for the customers? Uh, here, our customers is employee. Uh, that means that uh, people who have uh, who have a business trip and uh, their business trip is uh, very regular. And based on this, they have to buy more tickets um, in a certain period than the students or the family who are uh, who are going to travel family trip. And uh, we and the Aida model. Uh, this is a model which uh, is constructed for uh, each uh, target audience based on their uh, interests and desire, based on their uh, price range, and uh, so on. So we have allocated only employees because they uh, can buy more. And uh, this is a very uh, wide, uh, wide audience where our sales can earn money. Okay. And our last question, um, how is the success of the brand recognized at the global level? Excuse me, could you repeat, please? Or maybe write in the chat. Yes, I repeat this question and... Uh, uh, how is the success of the brand recognized uh, at the global level? Yeah. Well, actually, there is uh, a lot of benchmarks, international benchmarks, uh, which um, can state the uh, aviasales success in the global market. And one of them uh, is um, in uh, 2019, uh, Skift included aviasales in the top 25 promising travel uh, startups. And in 2020, Forbes placed the services uh, on the 10th line in the ranking of 20 most expensive companies on the, uh, on the RUNET. And moreover, um, the, we can measure it. Uh, um, moreover, we can measure it by the share of company, uh, by increasing the share of company in a global, or by the uh, opening the new markets in different countries, we can measure the success of our company. Thank you for your answers. Next questions. The next team will be Tinkoff. Mm -hmm. One second. Um, well, uh, what uh, accept the language of the queries in Google and the Yandex cost rebranding? 
I may put uh, this question in chat. So I thank you for your question and I think I may answer it. Um, maybe in this way, the other sales has designed, has mentioned the main field of the activity. So Russian speaking countries are singled out by the company in the target market segment. They um, used rebranding uh, as a way of mentioning the field of the activity. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your answer. And uh, our second question is, uh, are there sales is a sponsor or advertiser on many um, YouTube shows? Yeah, for example, uh, Nasty Wave show. And do you think this uh, gives any advantages? Uh, if so, what type can be attributed to? Oh, I think um, I can answer. Um, yes, of course. So we guess that um, th th this activity um, brings advantages. Or uh, if we analyze this example, um, then in the show uh, of Nasty Leva, Avia Sales hands over a ticket to any country to the winner of the competition. Uh, on the one hand, uh, support for such a new show uh, in Russian Federation, where people express themselves uh, with style and dance, uh, can be attributed to self-expressive uh, benefit. Uh, and uh, thanks to air sales, uh, the uh, winner uh, has the opportunity to travel and explore the world, uh, which can be noted as uh, an emotional benefit. Mm. And uh, the fact that uh, the ticket uh, for the trip uh, will be free, thanks to our avia sales, uh, can be noted as a social benefit. So, yes, the, there is a lot of advantages of such uh, sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And uh, our last question. Uh, is the key value of, of the company reflected in the brand name? How? Uh, yes. Um, yes, of course, uh, it is reflected. Since the main advantage of uh, IVS sales is, to, is the low cost of air tickets, which is reflected in the name where uh, air indicates on the uh, air uh, more of trans transport and uh, uh, sales. Uh, so uh, it means that the blue uh, blue uh, color uh, shows that the company works with airliners and, uh, and uh, provide with the service of uh, transportation. Trip. And uh, this is the color which shows that company can uh, can uh, can show that they can afford buy or sell uh, the cheapest tickets in the market. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
I'm not sure that uh, the role of uh, the area sales, uh, not the role, the strategy is the cash cow in the long term because uh, <clears throat> now this market is, of course, decreasing. And uh, if you try to find the information, we will highlight that the area sales and all other members of this industry are going to find new products that are more uh, uh, that are not so uh, dependent by the current marketing situation and of course okay. uh, the travel industry is decreasing now and if we're going to uh, define the right uh, brand or the bright brand strategy I'm going to say that it is cash cow uh, that depends uh, on the marketing market situation and uh, searching new ways to improve the situation by creating either sales and B2B is just uh, uh, the way to find something more sustainable for the long term. Uh, of course, uh, we need to understand that uh, the, the area sales uh, is just a marketplace uh, and it is uh, really hard to uh, improve the customer's loyalty for the marketplaces because uh, if the customer is loyal for the marketplace, it just means that uh, this marketplace will be uh, the first one uh who uh, the customer will be used but uh, if uh, the price is uh, not as good as uh, he expected before he will go to the another and uh, this is the most important task for their sales and for their competitors to find any opportunity to improve customers loyalty uh, the key to success is in using big data and to predict customers interest in traveling interest in uh services while he travel interest to uh find any opportunity to make they travel more cheaper uh and uh, of course uh, only using big data and uh, first of all collecting this data by all the ways is the key to success in the long term uh, but it means that um, area sales in the long term couldn't be the cash cow. Maybe they will improve the market, find any tools and solve marketing problems to improve the customer's loyalty. But uh, in the long term, not cash cow. No. Okay. Thank you yes, so much. Thank you. For thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your presentation. Now we're going to the last one. As I wrote before, it would be uh, Spotify with Tim Kof and their sales as the opponent. Please, uh, let's move to this presentation. Yeah, today we will present uh, the brand description of Spotify. Uh, firstly, I should mention that Spotify um, is company that um, um, uh, every year uh, acquire uh, new companies, um, some technological startups and so on, but uh, not to make, uh, uh, to support the, their brand or to develop their brands, uh, but use their potential and technology to develop their uh, individual uh, main brand uh, Spotify music. Um, so, uh, this, uh, so Spotify is a single brand across the organization. It has some uh, brand extensions, but it um, uh, can be interpreted as uh, sub names for brand. So it's Spotify Music and the uh, new extension in Spotify Podcasts. Uh, so mm, the brand extensions involve some risks. Uh, firstly, uh, one of uh, general line in reviewing of new function like Spotify Podcasts um, is uh, that users, both as podcasters and listeners, uh, have problem with uh, different problems with uh, 
uh, the variety of function in this um, sub uh, sphere. So uh, the feedback uh, section not so developed as they wanted to be, uh, and um, there is some problems with individual channels for podcasters. So um, there is. Um, community uh, offer to Spotify to create the separate app uh, for podcasts, but uh, there is a problem uh, because uh, it uh, go uh, this uh, like offer go against the uh, Spotify uh, whole idea of uh, you need app uh, with uh, you need subscription for all functions. Uh, and um, the creation of a separate app will involve a lot of technical problems connected with uh, separate subscription, separate accounts. Uh, and uh, it's already, um, as a director of Spotify mentioned, uh, they have pre they have really uh, serious intents uh, in uh, introduce introduction of this. Uh, um, a subunit as Spotify podcasts, uh, and they uh, invest a lot in that. Uh, the investments is so big that investors uh, really fear about the fail of this um, function and um, the net profit on that moment uh, because of all investments of company uh, is negative. Uh, besides the fact that the company is grows in terms of number of subscribers. Uh, so mm, mm, it's pretty risky in tangents, but it's only the start. So it have the uh, potential for growth and development to satisfy all users as listeners, uh, as well as listeners and podcasters. Uh, so, also brand extensions have um, advantages. Obviously, first uh, is that Spotify, um, in comparison with uh, its competitors, uh, only up uh, of music streaming services that um, provide in main up uh, the possibility of podca uh, podcast listening. So, and um, it gives the possibility to continue use your previous um, conditions of uh, subscription without any um, growth of payments. Uh, and uh, it saves money for users and uh, keep uh, their content in one place or the variety of content. And um, also users already trust the algorithms of personal recommendation of Spotify that they are famous for. Um, uh, uh, when we talk about rebranding of Spotify, they don't uh, uh, they don't go through uh, like haven't go through a significant uh, uh, rebranding. Uh, or full rebranding, uh, only partial rebranding uh, that uh, I, uh, about what was about changing the font, color scheme, uh, and different other things. Uh, and uh, despite of different events uh, that happened with uh, a Spotify reputation in bad and uh, good way, uh, they uh, only recognize them and improve your, uh, itself uh, without uh, full rebranding. Um, so there was some cases uh, that connected uh, Spotify with uh, that, uh, like conflict with Taylor Swift that uh, um, give uh, listeners like people pos the possibility to explore um, the royalty. Uh, system uh, for uh, artists uh, and the hacking incident in 2020 that uh, spoiled the trustworthy reputation of Spotify in uh, terms of uh, safety of users' personal data. 
and um, many good cases as introducing new fu you know, function and developing themselves as podcast, uh, introducing all uh, different um, co-branding companies campaigns. So uh, about co-branding. Um, on previous seminars, I've already mentioned several co brands and campaigns that Spotify held um, as uh, the project with uh, Xbox, or the pro or, I'm sorry, with PlayStation, uh, the project with BMW and uh, Facebook. Uh, so, not to be uh, uh, to give a new case, uh, today I will uh, present the, uh, the co-branding uh, project with Starbucks. In 2015, Starbucks complemented its coffee house ambience by team up with Spotify. As part of agreement, Starbucks employees uh, receive a Spotify premium subscription where they curate playlists uh, serving as a musical background for coffee lovers to access through the Starbucks app. Spotify then provides this playlist on the go and offers discounted subscription plans, thereby attending a big number of new potential users. Each brand uh, benefits through shared promotions, merch loyalty programs and valuable incentives offered on each other's behalf. The collaboration provides weekly playlist exclusive artist features and uh, helps both brands communicate to a captivate audience. Uh, consumers take notice uh, and enjoy each entity's offering. Uh, about brand equity of Spotify, um, uh, there are many factors that uh, can show the brand tickets of Spotify. And um, one of the obvious that we can see uh, is by pretty simple comparing of pricing in Spotify and Apple Music. Apple Music, as uh, you may know, is uh, uh, brands that connected with the family of brands uh, Apple. So it's Pretty strong. Um, uh, it has pretty strong awareness among customers, and Spotify uh, has the same price as uh, such well-recognized brand as Apple Music, uh, and uh, it can be supported only by pretty high loyalty for customers uh, that um, have like several reasons for occurring uh, free mode of work and without any subscription uh, limited by still pretty uh, um, beneficial. Uh, also, they have a variety of contexts spreaded by uh, new functions and uh, um, also their uh, well-known uh, feature of personal recommendation uh, algorithm. Uh, also, I've uh, already mentioned that now net profit of Spotify for last uh, like two years is uh, negative, but uh, it's slightly, it's pretty like small uh, decline so they will cope with it they still grow in terms of numbers of subscribers uh, pretty high and uh, uh, this um, decline is uh, connected with their big investments in uh, new functions and in uh, geograph geographic sp uh, spreading and according to market share there is a diagram for 20 21, but the, uh, pretty same data we can see in 2020 and 2019 that shows that Spotify has acquired biggest market share in USA. And it's important because uh, when we talk about brand awareness, in USA, the most brand aware, uh, the biggest number of brand awareness show Pandora that works only in USA. But um, it's have not so big uh, part of um, market share. 
Um, and Spotify shows pretty good results. And if we compare it with the data from Europe, from pretty same time, we can say that uh, Spotify uh, on this market where Pandora not operate uh, held the first place. So um, brand awareness, um, a part of that AIDA model represent, uh, we can say that awareness um, here uh, built uh, building by wrapped campaign. Firstly, the, um, one of the most interesting uh, tool from Spotify marketing strategy that uh, help users uh, get social benefits and uh, people who may become potential users of Spotify know about Spotify and uh, learn about it. Uh, also, as well as uh, artists who try to promote themselves through different um, streaming platforms. Uh, they uh, promote themselves through Spotify and uh, by this uh, they promote Spotify itself. Uh, so uh, interest also can be uh, cured to, uh, thanks to the free access as Spotify provide. It's a limited number of function, but it still give uh, nice experience to users. And uh, conviction uh, is built by uh, well-known algorithms, um, uh, functions uh, that connected with personal recommendations and um, all other functions that uh, can provide Spotify up. Uh, it gives uh, users functional benefits and uh, desire is uh, would build by limitation and offering of uh, premium access to all functions and uh, action is uh, inviting for subscription um, to be uh, uh, full payment users so Spotify with full uh, access to the functions. So Spotify tried to build uh, his brand uh, around uh, convenience, unique uh, features and functions, and uh, trust about the recognizing of uh, its own way. So I think that's all that I wanted to say. Questions, good. please. Very good. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Tinkoff team, please, you're welcome. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for your presentation. So our uh, first question is about uh, brand extension. So are those brand extension uh, are they uh, separate brands? So why don't you analyze them as endorsed one? Uh, because um, they not uh, have a separate um, functionality platform. Uh, they uh, works in uh, main app and um, all promotions and support to both sub uh, names uh, is uh, provided by one Spotify brand name. Okay, thank you. And uh, our second question is about a uh, brand role. So what brand roles does the Spotify follow? I'm not sure that brand role is applicable for Spotify because they like individual brand across the company. Uh, so like it tries to acquire all roles. So um, can we say that like, uh, Spotify is a strategic brand or a cash cow? I would say it's more about strategic. As I already said, uh, in last years they invest a lot and have kind of net profit, uh, negative net profit. Uh, they have declined, so they not about 
uh, focusing on uh, fast and um, sim like easy cash. They focus on develop, develop themselves. So I think uh, I would say they're a strategic brand. But uh, I think the role is a, um, apply uh, the roles models is applying way uh, you can differentiate. But here you can just do everything in once because like it's then nothing to differentiate. Or to classify. Okay, I get it. And maybe I get it wrong, so I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. So it's uh, it is actually hard to uh, to somehow clarify brand roles for an individual brand, but yes, so the main question was about cash cow or strategic brand and you answered it. Thank you. So, and our... Yeah, yeah dear colleagues, I'm so sorry for interrupting you, but um, if we are looking for uh, digital marketing and <coughs> digital products, it is um, pretty hard to understand what is the real cash cow because uh, generally, in uh, traditional marketing, cash cow means uh, not high costs to improve the products because if you invest a lot, uh, you cannot uh, earn a lot of money. So, uh, cash cow means that you produce something that uh, is uh, suitable for all your clients without any changes and without the plan of uh, improving these products for years and for months for a long period uh, but in digital environment and the digital economy uh, especially when we are looking for um, digital products it's really hard to find the clear example of the cash cow because uh, generally companies are constantly improves their product and uh, Spotify is an example of their product that is constantly improved and uh, we have the great plan to improve it further. Uh, so it is really hard to clarify it as a cash cow. Uh, and of course, uh, we're going to say that it is strategic brand with uh, mm, some part of the cash cow, maybe uh, right now, but we can predict the role it further because uh, we need to, uh, Find we cannot predict the market situation in the future. Okay, so you're absolutely right in your answer. Okay, let's move this to the last one. So, our last question is about brand associ associations. So, uh, what can you say about uh, Spotify brand associations? Uh, as I've already said, uh, it, it can be mentioned when we discuss Spotify with my team in the first times, uh, the first associations that came to them, it was rap campaign. Uh, so their specific uh, approach to working with data, uh, their personal recommendation uh, algorithm, their marketing campaigns, um, that we are really changed uh, and uh, have some constant tools uh, as uh, you can share your personal uh, wrapped um, data and uh, some diverse uh, number of tools that connected with uh, public um, advertisement. Uh, also, I would mention uh, in last years, they tried to more support their artists to increase uh, their royalty payment, and uh, it uh, can be represented on the special campaigns uh, with uh, Taylor Swift and other artists. Uh, also, they try to support local artists and have special campaigns for them uh, that uh, became more um, uh, well known. Uh, so something like that, I would say. Okay, uh, thank you for your answers. 
that will be all for think of team on uh, questions okay i will start with questions from our sales team there is no doubt that the name of the brand is one of the most important attributes of it and uh, maybe do you know something about the name of the brand name spotify oh yeah uh, actually it's pretty interesting case uh, in, uh, in 2006 that uh, when they created their name it was uh commented uh reviewed by many people as very bad choice it's not um identifying uh it's not con it's not connected with uh, their main uh, functions it's not connected with industry uh it's not connected with any like names or something like that so and uh, at this time they have uh, th th the type of the name was so uh, overused uh, but uh, it is a case when they build their name by their reputation like uh, the name was bad but they work and they up create uh, the value to this name so it's uh, this case and the same with uh, their icon. It was pretty big crit uh, critique to their uh, logo because it was too basic, uh, no uniqueness. And that in, 20, in 2006, many companies create this uh, Waves logo, but uh, they uh, decided to stick to this and uh, be uh, stable in this presence and uh, uh, time shows that uh, their specification in their work uh, uh, in functions and uh, in their style uh, get uh, them benefit somehow. Okay, thank you. And the second question, in your presentation you told us uh, about loyalty and my question about it how do you access the loyalty level of your audience according to the lecture material there are there are four levels and what is most suitable for your brand please give me a minute i will answer I would say that um, there is um, some part of audience that can be characterized as hardcore loyals. And uh, there was uh, some research that we've mentioned in previous seminars uh, that said that many people are ready to pay more for the service that they get from Spotify. Uh, but at the same time, uh, as reviews shows, uh, many people not ready to new some new functions. Uh, they uh, dissatisfy because of uh, not enough quality on the starts of the functions. So it would be like split level maybe um, due to different uh, sides of the brand. Okay, thank you. Uh, and uh, our next question, 
um, cooperating with which musicians uh, is the most uh, beneficial for the form uh, formation of brand associations? Uh, perhaps there is some uh, most attractive music category or examples of the most successful collaboration uh, with a particular artist. I need some time for a search, I'm sorry, one minute plus. Okay. And can you please type your question in the chat? It would be really helpful. Okay, okay. Uh, I will answer this question. So actually, Spotify <clears throat> has a plenty of collaborations with famous musicians, but uh, we think that uh, collaboration with Ed Sheeran was especially popular and um, cool in the sense of attracting new clients uh, to Spotify because Ed Sheeran is uh, one of the most popular singers uh, all over the world nowadays and a lot of people really loves him. So uh, when uh, during this collaboration, like um, only for Spotify users, uh, there was a few a preview for Ed Sheeran's uh, album and uh, it was like uh, this gr great tool <clears throat> to make people love Spotify more and actually Ed Sheeran uh, is uh, famous for like uh, his um, great personal qualities too and uh, actually like this collaboration with Spotify really makes Spotify like a good company with a great face uh, so we think that this collaboration was the best. Okay, thank you. It's an interesting case. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation and for the answers. Uh, I'd like to return to the issue of the brand loyalty levels. Uh, in practice, uh, there are always overfall uh, levels in different parts of the target audience. Um, if we will uh, describe a digital product and Spotify especially, uh, we need to expect maybe just hardcore lawyers because it's uh, very easy to switch to another product. And uh, it takes uh, around five or 10 minutes. So that is really hard to create the uh, big uh, level of the hardcore uh, loyalty uh, customers. Uh, but the main uh, uh, reason of, uh, for the marketing department, <laughs> the main task is to create uh, the biggest number of hardcore loyalties and of course to move to um they are customers by this uh, way from the switchers to the hardcore uh, so the right answer is that there are all the four types of customers uh, in the uh, all the amount of uh, Spotify users 
but uh, of course uh, the success of the application will be influenced by the uh, increasing the number of really loyalty customer and positive positive changes in this direction okay thank you but your answer is mm, right too uh, so mm, it was the last comment if you have any question please let me know if you don't have CEO for thank you very much for this presentation for the seminar and see you again next week Excuse me, I've got a question. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what task do we have uh, for the next week? Because we didn't have any lectures today, so we are not aware of any <clears throat> new material. So, I'm not sure what shall we do, and uh, mm -hmm. based on okay. what. Okay, I got it. Uh, I will send you. Uh, your task uh, this evening or maybe tomorrow uh, because uh, I need to clarify it with Ivan uh, Mitich because uh, he is generally uh, the person who is responsible for creating the task. So it is a question to him and I will ask him and let you know. Uh, I guess it will be this evening or tomorrow's morning. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye.